Hey guys, the chickens here back to another boomage video. In today's video, guys, we are gonna go over what you need to know for the last weekend. Last we got two days left uh, to finish off the season. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the videos and you want to stay up to date on everything that is worships, we got season 55. 55 right around the corner. Hard to believe. It's been 55 seasons of worships. That is crazy. So um, you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate those of you guys that have been using that code chicken in the shop. Thank you for that. And um but it does help support the channel. And also, if you want to win some uh, cool stuff, we are going to be announcing our giveaway. Uh, I'll probably post it at some point over the weekend, what, it, what we're going to give away. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. Maybe a boombox, maybe a t-shirt, maybe a figurine. You guys let me know what you want, maybe, in the comments. Um, and yeah, we're going to announce that and then give it away before Wednesday, the 31st of January. So that is coming up. And to enter in the giveaway, you just got to become a member of the channel. The higher tier you subscribe at, the more chances you have of winning. So it's like a raffle, basically. Um, so yeah, that being said, let's go over what you guys need to know going over the last couple days. So in terms of bases, um, this is a really good one. This is a hot base right now. Um, this was from Sergeant Tell... Tell Tell Rue ride in the task force. He's been having some really good success with this one, so I would copy something similar to this. It seems to be the double grappler base, double grappler bases with the death corner here at the bottom. Doom cannon over here um, have been really hot. Now, ideally by today you will you will have shock launchers, but if you don't, it's okay. All you need to compete is everything in the tech tree. So. If you're unable to unlock some things, I wouldn't push the entire weekend. I wouldn't push late into Sunday um, unless you can get the entire tech tree. Um, I mean, you can miss some stuff in the beginning, and that's okay, but we'll go over that next maybe. But that's a really good base if you guys are looking for one to copy. I'm still rocking this one. I'm watching the leaderboards right now. I'm going to see if we need to jump back in. Um, we're tentatively parked. I don't think it's going to last, so we'll likely play once we can get... I'm really just waiting to get defib and shock launcher, so... Once I have enough chests for that, then I'll go in and we'll have a pretty good idea of, you know, what the leaderboard's doing. Right now, top 500 is 23, so it doesn't look like 2390 is safe. I think 24 or 15 is probably what I would recommend if you guys are looking at that parking range, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, let's look at the tech tree. So, what do we need to compete? What do we need to be good right now? So, um, obviously, we need heavy choppers. Um, I would definitely recommend getting shock launchers. Now, if you're really struggling... And say you're in rank 22, low 23, I don't think shock launchers are the answer. I would prioritize offense over defense at this point. Um, especially if you do not have bombardiers and you've just been getting this far with rocket choppers and you're not really an amazing rocket chopper player, bombers are better than rocket choppers, for sure. They're the better option um, in terms of getting a better time. Can you still use rocket choppers and win? Absolutely. But for you know most of us, it's going to be a lot easier using bombers, especially because we got that boost for them. So, um, it's funny, when I boosted the bombers, and maybe you guys let me know in the comments if you noticed this, but I didn't notice a huge benefit. I didn't really notice much of anything. Uh, boosting the bombers didn't get me anywhere. I stayed exactly where I was at. Troop damage, that was another story. But, um, but yeah, so, <clears throat> in terms of backfilling, I mean, I would look at shock launchers. That's pretty much it. Um, critters, good pickup for sure. But you got to get all this stuff, guys. You got to get the seven nodes after 70R. Once you get the seven and seven, then you can go back and start to pick up things. And I might even think of unlocking critters before shock launchers. That's how strong offense is right now. But yeah, you absolutely need the troop damage. Get to that. Get the defib. The defib is very strong as well. We have enough tech to get the defib, but if I do go back and I want to get the defib and the shocks at the same time, I don't want to mess around and wait for chests. So um, yeah. That's why I haven't unlocked it just yet. But that's what we're looking at in terms of tech. That's the base. Now, let's do a little refresher on the attack. Now, I haven't hit since yesterday, but let's go over. Do, 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 do. Where was the... Yeah, so I guess since the yesterday's video, wherever we ended up in the video, I think we were like 23.40 or 50 or something. So obviously we went back in. And let's show you some of these hits. So 3-0, 1-0, 144, 126. 144 is a pretty good time, especially against a base like this. He's got the two grapplers. So this guy's base is two grapplers, um, two doom cannons, no shock launchers. 
Um, and I mean, the shocks will help. Obviously, they're better than not having them, for sure. But it's not a massive, massive, massive difference. Um, so here's the attack I've been doing. Two heavy choppers, four bombardiers on the side. Um, four bombardiers across the bottom. Now what I do is that first defense that goes down, that's when I know the Doom Cannon is going to come into range. So as soon as I clear that first defense, whatever, it, usually it's a mortar like over here, but whatever that first defense is, boom, shock's going down. Unless I missed it. There I missed it. I'm still missing it. Come on, chicken. There you go. You waited the last absolute millisecond, but we got it down. So, um, And then you can see we've got the grappler to deal with. Now this base was different because the grappler was in range right off the beginning. Um, so what do we do there? We, in this instance, we can smoke the grappler because we know it's going to pick up bombers. If it picks up heavies and rifles, whatever, you know, we'll let them die. It's not a big deal. We don't want to do two things. We don't want the critter launchers to just get a big swarm of critters shooting at your troops, whatever's right beside the grappler. And we don't want to killing bombardiers. Those are the two things the grappler cannot do. So you can either shock it if it's too far away or um, you can smoke it. Now, I opted to do a split hit on this base just because there wasn't as much stuff in the bottom and there was nothing in the corner. That was the big thing. So nothing in the corner means all the troops are going left anyway. So it was just an easier way of splitting them up. Now, you see right here, I, I went with the shock on this grappler uh, just because it's surrounded by critter launchers. So I didn't want those to have a chance to pile up. And there was a critter launcher over here, so it was just a nice kind of, and the, the rocket. Um, so it was just a nice way of being able to grab everything in one go. Um, so you see right there, all those heavies that were under the smoke, they stayed alive, they came back for us, and they helped out because the Doom Cannon um, is shooting the heavies, not the heavy chopper, which is what we want. So over here, this one is gross. This one is gross, but we are able to get a good shock in there, right into the meat of all of those defenses, except the one critter launcher is the only thing that we're missing. Um, we got the Doom Cannon on the left, and this is what it's all about. You just got to manage the split. Um... I'm thinking a shock on those two critter launchers would be nice chicken if we can do that. And from this point, it's just shock, second wind, maybe artillery or barrage out some mines, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then you want to get ready to gung-ho, you want to get ready to flare as quickly as possible. Um, so you see right here, we've got the base down pretty much. We want to save up GB for a shock. I think I actually hit the cannon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I flared the cannon because that was, one, going to kill some bombers, two, it kind of brought them on the way they were going anyways, um, and then I wanted to hit the hot pot. That was a tough shock because you have to predict when the hot pot is coming up. If you shock it too late, it's not going to come up, and you're going to get roasted. I mean, I had enough GBE here. I think I could have just shocked it twice, but you risk this moment right here. The hot pot comes up. It could technically look at the bombers and wipe them all out, so we don't want to have that. I'll absorb the, you know, the extra couple seconds that it takes to... Uh, to wait and and just play it safe like that so that ended up getting us a really good time um, let's go over one more I last it here against Eric um, let's go here so same thing two in the bottom four across get the first defense shock that doom cannon then what I like to do on the bases with stuff in the corner is I'll drop Kavon on that right hand side spam second win once maybe twice if you have bullet because if you have bullet, you don't need as much GB because you don't have to shock the Doom Cannons all the time. Um, so one if you have bullet, uh, sorry, two if you have bullet, one if you have Kavon. Then what I like to do too is just shock all this stuff down here, the flamethrowers and whatever, if you need to. Um, that allows the bombers to run free and clear. Now as soon as, you'll see the Doom Cannon still up, as soon as this engine is going down or about to go down, we can drop our 1-1 one, one Heavy Chopper Bomber on this left side. The only thing we got to worry about over there is this critter launcher. So we take that out with barrage and artillery. And you see we're using different abilities. It looks like we're using a ton of GBE, but we're spreading out everything. And the only thing we're short on a little bit is the shocks. That was hurting us, uh, kind of. So, <clears throat> yeah, so we got that critter launcher out of the way. Even though this guy does have shock launchers, as you can see, we've got enough meat in front of the bombardiers where, you know, it's just continually shocking the heavy. So that's not a big deal. Get some early smoke on that grappler to prevent the critter launchers from uh, farming up a bunch of critters. Go ahead and shock that one there because we're running out of heavies on this left side. So I think the left side does go down at some point, but it does a good job clearing those engines and then just making the right side easier to, uh, to get through. Um, just alternating between smoke and shocks. 
These two bombers coming around the bottom came in clutch uh, until they both simultaneously walked into a boom mine. Not so clutch. Um, but yeah, so we shock right there because why? Because this grappler's going to grab the bombers. This one's fine. It's not going to grab anything but dummy troops. And I don't know what happens there if those bombers die. It looks like they're about to. No, they still manage. They still manage. Um, I was getting a little bit nervous here because we were starting to run out of troops. So then I, fl I smoked the grappler just to keep some heavies alive because we were going to need them. Uh, get one more second wind off. I think Amon's about to get popped. And what do we got here? So Grappler did grab that last bomber. So then from here, we're just going uh, straight onto that hot pot. There is a bomber somewhere shooting at it. There we go. So then from here, it's just Flare City. We know that the machine guns are... We've got too many bombers for the machine guns to kill. We can go ahead and get ready for our last Flare, get some early barrage in on that engine room. And that Flare needs to be a little bit snappier, chicken, but we got it, to, got it in the right spot. And boom, that was all we needed. So... So that's how we're hitting. It's very up and down. It's very hit and miss. It's not, you know, certainly it was not easy wins. It was a, it was a slog of a grind. But, um, but yeah. So I hope that helps you guys out. Let me know how you're making out down below in the comment section. Are you parked? Are you still going in? Um, want to hear from you guys about your thoughts on the season two? We'll do a season fifty four wrap up and review, um, probably on Monday. But, uh, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Bear, bear.